Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So it's the end of my <clears throat> first full day down here in the mountains and it was just absolutely what I needed right now in this time. Um, <clears throat> it was so great to be able to get out into nature and we went on a couple hikes and my wife and sister-in-law and I went bird watching and that's something my wife really enjoys doing and I like going with her just because it gets me out there, it gets me in nature seeing things and even I got to see my favorite bird which is, I mean it's it's nothing special to loon, but we don't have them by me. So getting to see some and, you know, hearing them is just something I've always enjoyed. <clears throat> but it kind of like, it sparked something in my head. Um, just being down here in the mountains in a place that means so much to me. It got me thinking about the fact that, so the other day I mentioned, you know, it's kind of easier for me where no, when no place really feels like home. When I don't, you know, attach my heart and my well-being to a place. Um, I prefer moving. I prefer going this way and that and, you know, kind of just being on the move as much as I can. <clears throat> this is almost the opposite. It's not really the opposite of that, but it's, 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 it's weird because there have been a few times in my life. Um, one was when I spent time in Ireland. Um, one is every time I visited uh, Oregon. And every time I come down here to Tennessee, and it's this weird feeling of almost being homesick for a place that I've never lived, that has never been my home. Oregon eventually became my home for a time, and even there I still felt that longing, like, I belong here. And it, it's weird to have that feeling when you're me and you don't feel like you belong anywhere. Um... But I feel that when I'm here, and I don't, and I felt that in Ireland, and I feel that in Oregon, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the scenery makes me feel more connected to the earth, if it's some, you know, deep, you know, primeval, like, you know, race memory or something like that. Like, I don't know, <clears throat> like, Ireland is in my lineage, you know, in some points, uh, the mountains, most of my family on, you know, my dad's side, when they came to America, they settled, you know, in Kentucky and in the hills. And so the mountains have always been important. Oregon was just a complete outlier. Um, I don't know. I have no connection to that place, be it through family or, you know, anything like that. But the first time I went there, I fell in love immediately and especially the Oregon coast, like being there just felt like a return to where I was meant to be, which was, like I said, it's weird when you have this deep, deep, like longing to be somewhere, to call somewhere home that has never been your home. And like I said, it's like you're homesick for a place you've never been. It's a very weird feeling. I don't know if anybody else gets it. Um, I'm sure somebody does, but it's, it's a very odd thing. And I honestly don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the novelty of those places when I visit, but I don't think it is because I feel it every time I come to Tennessee. And there are some years when I come down here multiple times a year, spend multiple weeks here, but every time I do, I still feel that. It was the same in Oregon. Even though we moved away from Oregon, I still, to this day, it's been almost 10 years, just want to be back in Oregon and want to be able to see the ocean and just experience life there. And there's just so something so different about the Midwest that makes me not feel that at all. No matter where I am in the Midwest, I don't get this longing to be in that place. I don't feel like I'm at home or that I belong. But when I visit these random places, I do. And it, it doesn't happen everywhere I go. There are plenty of places I've gone where I've enjoyed them. I've enjoyed spending time in those places, but I don't feel some like soul ache in regards to, you know, being there more or moving there. But definitely down here is a place that, though I've never been here, coming here feels like I'm going home. And that's a very weird sensation for me. But I love it. I love being down here in the mountains. I love the fresh air. I love the peace, the quiet, just being away from, you know, 
the daily grind back in the Midwest. It's just a completely different place. And I don't know if it's just easier to feel connected to nature and the earth here because you're surrounded by mountains and green and, you know, Oregon was the same way. I was near the ocean. I could feel that prime primordial just well-being almost came over me and it it's something I can't really describe I've, I've tried in this video and I just can't really do it but Ireland was the same way um, again and I don't know if it's just being immersed in something so beautiful and just the natural beauty just sparks something inside of me in these few places but yeah it's it's quite an odd feeling, but I, I love being, basically, I just love being down here in Tennessee. It always is good for my soul. I've only been here, you know, a day, and I already feel my mood has improved significantly. Um, and I think it's because I'm just able to be out in the mountains and go out and enjoy things that I enjoy doing, nature, hiking, the like. <clears throat> but uh, this has actually turned into a longer video than I thought it was going to be, so I'm going to end it here. Um, but I'll definitely be back with another one tomorrow. I know we're going out hiking again tomorrow and, uh, maybe I'll make one while we're out. I was hoping to do that at some point while we were down here, just be out in nature and make a beautiful video or, you know, something that's beautiful to me, but, uh, we shall see. But always remember guys throughout your life, advance daily, becoming more skillful than yesterday, more skillful than today. This is never ending. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.